Hi friends, it's Vesna here. Thanks for stopping by my channel. Welcome if you're brand new and thank you for coming back if you're returning. For today's video, I am flipping this uh, fork and spoon, which I purchased at the thrift store. And I believe they were $5 each. They're quite large. I would say about a meter in length. And love the way they looked, love that they are metal, but did not love the little design on them. And I didn't want them in black either. Now this video is a part of a collab hosted by Jamie from Board or Bananas. If you haven't had a chance to check out her channel, I will have her link down below, so make sure you check it out. Um, she's super creative, does a lot of dollar store, thrift store, all sorts of flips, and um, she's really talented, so make sure you check her out. As well, since it's a collab, there'll be a playlist, and there's going to be some amazing flips, so please be sure to check out the channel. No, the playlist. What I wanted to achieve with um, these, uh, this knife, uh, not knife, this fork and spoon is I wanted them to look like aged metal. So what I started off doing is spray painting them with this um, Lagoon, Rust-Oleum spray paint in Lagoon. Um, and I did this because I wanted that blue to kind of shine through. So it kind of looks like maybe like a copper um, that's, you know, tarnishing a little bit or um, something like that. So you kind of see once I get going what look I'm going for. So I did cover these fully in the paint um, just so that it, it would cover the black completely because I did not want the black coming through. Um, when you're spray painting, I mention this always, but I'll mention it again, you want to make sure you're kind of going up and down, up and down, and you're not caking on too much. There is a spot that I put too much on, and you're better off to kind of go through the whole piece, and if you don't want to wait for it to dry, like today was a really hot day, not today, the day I was spray painting these was a really hot, today was a hot day too, but the day I was spray painting these was a hot day, so they were drying fairly fast. Um, so I could have just gone, you know, done one, both pieces and then gone back again, but I, you know, got a little bit too antsy and I went over one piece a little, one spot a little bit too much and I did have it caked on. Now you can always sand that down and re-spray paint it, but I mean, save yourself the work, just do a little bit at a time, let it dry and then do it again. It just looks better. I did not have to do two coats, which was great. So then I went ahead and I added my um, hammered paint and I used the Rust-Oleum Hammered in Rosemary. And what I'm doing here is I'm adding it, but I'm not fully covering it. Like I'm doing, with this one you probably would have needed two coats, but I'm doing one coat. And so that blue kind of, like it, you don't see it, but you see it. It kind of... Uh, the, the like the hues from the blue kind of shine through but you don't it's not like that blue is in your face so you'll see what I mean this is the look that I was going for I'm probably not explaining it properly but um, you'll see what I mean So once that dried and I got the look I was going for, I went ahead and I used um, this liquid copper from Michaels. Um, I've had this bottle forever and it's 
lasting me, like I said, it's lasting me forever, so almost full. And I just used my little stencil brush from the Dollar Tree. And the reason I did this was because, I, like I said, I wanted it to look like, you know, maybe some aged copper and whatnot. So you can still see the blue kind of coming through. It did dry a bit darker than I thought it would. So um, it's not showing through as much as I wanted, but it is showing through. Um, and then I'm just randomly adding this um, copper. It's really however you, much you want. There's no, you know method this is how you have to do it maybe someone does have a method if you do leave me a comment below but um, my method is just kind of eyeing it so I put on a little bit and then I look to see whether I need more or whether I should wipe it down or not I do wind up wiping this a little bit just because in some spots it's a little bit too much so this way it blends it in a bit After this dried, I decided that I wanted to add another layer of paint onto this so that it would match my kitchen a bit better. So what I've done here is I've added a little bit of the Annie Sloan Duck Egg Blue. And I'm just dry brushing it on. I just want to show you the difference. So this is a little bit more blue than green. And it's just so it matches my kitchen. So I'm just going to... I just lightly brushed it on with this brush and then I just used a dirty, like a, a dirty, like an old rag that I use for wiping off paint to wipe it off. So it's, the rag is kind of stiff so it helps, um, it doesn't rub it off completely. So I'll show you what I mean. So you dab on some of the paint right there and then because you're dry brushing you want to take some of it off. And then you just apply wherever you want to apply. So. There. And then I just wipe it off. So you just repeat these steps like two or three times until you achieve what you wanted to achieve. So what I wanted to achieve with this was for it to look like kind of an aged metal, maybe like a copper that was tarnishing um, with the blue and so on. So once I hang these up, if I notice that, you know what, I want a little bit more of that copper to show, I can always just add a bit more while they're on the wall. But I don't want to add too much and then think, you know, then not like it and have to spray paint all over again. Um, so there it is. So here are the finished pieces. I am just in love with the way they turned out. I hung them up on the wall in the kitchen um, just by my door. And I love, love the way they turned out. I think they look fabulous and they're a great addition to my kitchen. And for $10, I mean, I couldn't have asked for more. Or no, five, yeah, $10. Um, so if you guys liked it, make sure you hit that like button. If you want to see more, you consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell twice. Um, it would really help me out. And stay tuned for the videos that I'm recommending for you at the end as well. Make sure you check out the playlist and um, Jamie's channel at Border Bananas. Thanks for stopping by. Have an excellent day and stay safe.